I'm Sabian. This is Sam, Elliot, Jesse, and JD, and we're gonna be showing you around Monarch Independent. Oh. Alright, anyways, so every night we drive to Sam's in Seastat, which is about an hour away from Magnolia where we rehearse. Yeah. And it's the only place that's big enough big enough to house all nine of the snares. But it's a lot of fun and we make a lot of good memories. We eat a lot of good memories. We eat at Taco Cabana every night. And this, the staff there knows that we're gonna come in every night now. So, yeah, it's, it's a routine. of going to this place called Yankee Duo Bonus in Magnolia, but we call it Danky. We just like kind of put the two words together. And so it's kind of a thing we always say, we're going to Danky every morning. Oh, Elliot, what did you get? Look at these fools. Oh, here come the quads. Okay. Shane, the previous vlogger, Austin, Blake, Tanner. Ooh, okay. I said Christmas came late this year. Christmas <laughs> came. Q&A going like just throughout the day like in between little videos that I post so Justin and Oscar and the rest of the game will be answering your questions so post them below oh I'm expecting that one <laughs> what kind of sticks do we use Jim Cassell is show me some huh show me some Food. So I'm here in the culinary room of the school at Mag Magnolia West. Here is all the pit, the quads, bases. To be honest, meal prepping is a big part of being able to afford this activity for people who couldn't usually. There, was, there would be no way I'd be able to eat out at every meal and afford this activity year round. So this is definitely a big help having these appliances like microwave and sinks over there. What are you doing? I'm doing stuff for the Instagram page. Uh, yeah, follow us on uh, your phone. RB, Monarch World Base. So Monarch rehearses at Magnolia West High School, which is about 45 minutes from downtown Houston. And they have rehearsed here for all of the six years that they've existed. And it is one of the campuses that I've ever seen. Other than Monarch this year, I've only marched Blue Nights this past summer, and so this is my first year doing indoor, so it has been a pretty big adjustment, 
But honestly, with the kind of environment that a lot of these world-class groups create, it's very supportive and you need supportive. And honestly, it hasn't been nearly as hard as I thought it would be. So what do you think about this new drill? It's really hard. What do you think, dude? I'm digging it, but man, <laughs> man. Oscar, someone said not a question, but what's up? Oh, hey, how you doing? Where's Monarch based? Uh, we are in Magnolia, Texas, just north of Houston. That's right, baby. You're so awkward, dude. <laughs> Thomas, what's up? There's a lot of BK percussion. Go to Monarch. Because uh, you Texas. Like it's Taha. Taha bed. Yeah. So I usually just play the packet and then just like do as many variations as I can just with certain stuff like grids uh, and that stuff will help uh, with everything that we play. Take anything you're working on and just try to make it like two times harder for yourself because odds are techs are going to try to do things like that in auditions and the harder you can make things for yourself then the easier they're going to be when you get to auditions. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> so, band is closed. <laughs> so we're going to water. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. It's so dark. We made it to water. Uh, I recommend everyone to get the breakfast burger. <laughs> that mug slap. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar, is, yeah. is Snens a hype? Oh, definitely. Snens is a hype. Everyone's got a record. <laughs> Do it. Snens. You got the one in. Oh, yeah, one in. One in. in. <laughs> Five. Grave in your brain. Five. Grave in your <laughs> oh my god. I have a question for marching blogs. When you get new sticks, do you smell them? They, they hit those shots so Oh my. That breakfast burger? Oh my. Say, being you probably good down. Yeah, definitely. So hopefully...
like, I thought we were, like, talking, and then right as I pants, just watch. Can we stop? Thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes. Softest, softest, softest triplet diddle ever. Yeah. It's the softest triplet diddle ever. Yeah, yeah, all the time. For sure. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to start with I. You know any of the wait, so you know all the beginning stuff? <laughs> Driving? I am. Elliot is? Yeah. Thomas, are you driving? Exists, so Sam's got some pretty hard water at his place. When we take a shower, it'd be hard kind water, of sticky when you get Soft water it. does not exist. Yes, it does. Why do you think exist? water softeners exist? Why do you think water softeners oh exist? Y'all are speaking that non-fiction. No. Yeah, my tap water goes through the water softener first before it comes out. Yeah, I only it's drink water with stool softener. No minerals, and it's not hard anymore. It's soft. I only drink water with stool softener. That's Guys, please don't listen to them. What are you talking about? <laughs> It's time for some new love The days are long but the season is short I'm marching around Someone said about the hard and soft water, it's about the vibe of the water You've got hard and you got soft, simple as that I mean look like, bro, if you want to talk about vibe like, It's a place to do it <laughs> Jesse's stretching out his left. What's up guys? So it's the last day of the camp. We're basically treating this like a Sunday. So we're just going to be going through all the things that we changed, all the new drill that we added, and just working to retain all of that for next weekend. Justin, how do you feel about this being the last day of camp? Um, I'm really happy. Not because I want to leave, but we got a lot done. Been a really productive camp. I'm really excited to come back next weekend. In two days. I'm thankful. Bless up. Alright, we just finished our winter camp. 
Whew. Man, very productive. We got a lot of stuff done. I'm really excited for this. We season. got so much stuff done. I'm so excited. And now we us. have way too much stuff to clean. Mm -hmm. right, I'm really excited. And there's no one else in here. <laughs> oh god. Hey everyone, so I just made it home. My phone is having some sort of technical issue. Um, I think it might be something on my SIM card, but I might be able to connect to my service at all. So, which is why I haven't been vlogging for the past few hours, but I'll continue to answer questions until I check out tonight. So my favorite type of pad is probably either a real feel or a Vader pad, just because of the bounce. Because I think those type of pads emulate the feel of an actual drum better than anything else I've used. And then as far as favorite type of drum, I'll probably have to go with Pearl just because the snare response is extremely articulate. Hey guys, go ahead and drop some more questions below. I'm going to try to crank through a ton of these tonight. All right, update. I fixed my phone. I just had to reset my network settings. Who knew? So I personally find that it's a lot easier to build consistency at a low dynamic and then bring it up rather than just starting at forte so i would first before working on high diddles work on low diddles at those same fast tempos and then try to bring them up in chops high diddles at a fast tempo is definitely something that requires a lot of chops so it's something that you need to consistently chop out on every day but if you take videos over a week even you will see improvement even if it's just a little bit you will keep being able to max out your height on those diddles so don't squeeze at all, because that is going to make your life so much harder and will probably give you tendonitis in your wrists. So don't squeeze. It's a lot easier as well to start from something, from a super loose approach and then make it more strict as you go. A WGI would be Pulse 17, and then for DCI, I'm gonna go with Blue Knight 16. The Monarch packet is on the website at monarchindependent.org and it costs $15, I believe, this year. So someone asked for the best advice for auditioning when you're new to the game, and so I'm going to put that response to the right, just because the question accidentally got deleted. I think a good thing to think about when you're new to the game and auditioning is don't be afraid to be uncomfortable. Getting out of your comfort, comfort zone is something that's really valuable, both in terms of socializing with the new people that you meet at camp, whether that's the other auditionees or the techs, but also in terms of adapting to new information that you give that they give you of course adapting to new things will get easier over time there's a lot of players who will get a comment and be immediately immediately be able to apply it but for me that wasn't the case but the fact that they saw that i was putting in some effort to try to fix what they were telling me even though i wasn't really grasping it yet at that time really stuck out to them and, and it's what gave me a shot at auditions this year and I'm specifically referring to Blue Knights this past season. Okay, this is a pretty complex answer, but I'm going to split it up between left and right hand. So if you didn't know, Mahler is a technique that allows you to play quicker by catching the rebound of the stick off of the drum. So it's, it's, a, it's a very efficient way to play. So for the right hand, I think your main points of contact in your fulcrum should be your second knuckle and then the pad of your thumb. And so... Your third knuckle will hang off of the stick a bit, but this will allow you to be a little bit looser. And then after that, prioritizing lifting from the fulcrum. So if you're looking over your hand, the point here at which your hand is moving, try to keep the fulcrum on the y-axis at the same spot as opposed to this. And for the left hand, the motion is initiated from kicking that wrist back. And a good way to help out with this is to use your ring finger to kick the stick up and also to prioritize moving from the base of the thumb. So for a visual representation, the motion is initiated from these two spots, the ring finger, which kicks the stick up, and then you will rotate along the base of the thumb like this. 
a lot of people say that seeing sort of a cup with your left hand is a bad thing, but you will see this a bit with molar as the hand is rotating. Apex drums weigh about 19 pounds, so they're about 5 pounds heavier than the new Pearls. And also the new models of the championship drums only weigh 14 pounds, which is pretty close to like what the System Blue carbon fiber drums weigh, and they're still wood shell, so that's a lot easier for our backs. I've always practiced multiple hours a day, but I would say that the quality of practice is a lot more important than the quantity of practice. Obviously, you need a lot of reps to get consistent, but if you're not working on things that you're not good at, then you're not going to get better. All right, guys, so it's getting pretty late over here in Dallas, so I guess I'm going to end it. But I really appreciate y'all tuning in for the past three days, and it's been a really fun winter camp experience, and I've really enjoyed getting to share it with y'all. If you want to see some more views from Monarch this season, you can follow my account down below. And also, I'm offering lessons this semester uh, over Skype or Facebook Messenger. So just hit me up if you're interested. Thanks so much.